Hello, I'm Rob, and I'd like to welcome you to this Cumulus Cycles playlist, which will cover the LAMP application stack. This playlist is meant to follow the HTML, CSS, and Bootstrap playlists in my channel, in which you'll learn the language or framework, then follow along as I progressively build a website at the end of each playlist. For example, this is what the website looks like in HTML only. This is what it looks like with CSS applied, and this version applies to Bootstrap CSS framework. In order to work with the PHP programming language, which is the P in the LAMP stack, you should be comfortable with HTML and CSS. If you don't have exposure to either of those languages, or you just want a refresher, you may find the other playlists in my channel helpful. The purpose of the tutorials in this playlist are to demonstrate how to reuse code across web pages by using PHP include files, as well as how to build pages using dynamic content contained in a database. This is the next logical step when creating your web pages instead of writing static HTML files with code that's duplicated across each page in your site, such as your page navigation, your header, and your footer. So what is the LAMP stack? LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And when combined together, they're referred to as an application stack used for building web applications. Linux, just like Windows, iOS, or Mac OS, is an operating system. An operating system, as you may know, is the software that manages all the hardware devices on your computer. In the LAMP stack, Linux is the operating system running on the physical server, which will host your website. Apache is the web server component in the LAMP stack. It refers to the Apache Foundation's Apache HTTP server, which is the web server in the stack. This is the software which will be installed and running on the server running the Linux operating system. MySQL is the database in the LAMP stack. MySQL is a relational database which is used to store related data in tables, rows, and columns similar to the structure of a spreadsheet. And PHP is a programming language which is especially suited for web application development. PHP is the language you code in to build PHP web pages. And in addition to the PHP code, these pages also include HTML and optionally CSS and JavaScript, although best practice is to put your CSS and JavaScript into external files. In order to get started programming in PHP, you'll need a code editor, such as VS Code, and a web server to host your web page, such as the Apache HTTP server. Unlike static HTML files, which you can simply load in your web browser on your local computer when developing, PHP files need to be pre-processed by a web server before being sent to the user for viewing in the browser. So that means we need to install the Apache web server on our development machines. We don't need to install the Linux operating system because your computer is obviously already running an operating system. I'm using an Apple computer, so my operating system is Mac OS. Your computer may also be running Mac OS, or maybe Windows, or maybe you even have a Linux box. Also, we'll want to install the MySQL database so we can build our web pages dynamically using external content hosted in the database. Now, there are a couple ways that we can install this software. You could install each piece of software separately, which is what you would normally do in a production environment. Or you could use a simple package, such as MAMP or WAMP, where the M stands for Mac and the W for Windows, and they both replace the L for Linux in the LAMP stack. Since the purpose of this tutorial series is to demonstrate how to reuse code across web pages by using include files, as well as how to build dynamic pages using content from a database, I'll be using the MAMP package instead of installing and configuring the software separately. And in the next video, I'll show you how to install MAMP on a Mac. 